Welcome to our second of three question breakdowns in this lesson. And for this question breakdown topic, we're going to look at the deployment of cloud networking solutions. And for this question, before I read it, I want to make sure that you understand that there is a difference between deployment and troubleshooting. Troubleshooting involves discovering a misconfiguration or something broken in an existing infrastructure that requires a fix. Deployment-based questions, while they can still include some of the same language as troubleshooting, the solution to that might be to deploy brand new infrastructure. So let's go ahead and take a look at our question. An e-commerce website is experiencing performance issues. Customers are complaining about the responsiveness of the website. And the performance gets worse the farther the customer is from the data center that is hosting the e-commerce application. A performance engineer has been called to recommend a solution. What solution should the engineer suggest? So as I said, this is partially troubleshooting but rather than fixing existing infrastructure, because we haven't really been told about it, it's going to be how do we recommend a fix that is new infrastructure? Let's go ahead and look at our answer choices. We'll start with A, a load balancer. Load balancers can be used to distribute that incoming traffic to backend resources. They aren't going to impact significantly performance that is based on geography and distance. So we can probably eliminate this. B, Web Application Firewall, or WAF. WAF is appropriate if we want to perform some sort of stateful inspection of web requests with the intention of rejecting the inappropriate traffic. However, it is definitely not going to improve the overall performance of the website. C, CDN, or Content Delivery Network. These can be used to cache web assets in order to improve performance. Aha, this might actually be a good answer. Assets can be cached globally in order to move those assets closer geographically to our end users. This might be our correct answer. Let's go ahead and look at D. VRF, virtual routing and forwarding. So this is used in order to provide a layer of virtualization around route tables in order to scale routing without having to buy new routing hardware. This is also not going to impact geography-based performance issues. So after looking at all these answer choices, there's only one that meets the requirements, and that's C.